Residents at Brightview Senior Living Communities enjoy enhanced possibilities, independence, and choice. Brightview Dulles Corner in Herndon and Brightview Great Falls offer vibrant senior independent living, assisted living, and memory care services through various daily programs and cultural events. Chef-prepared meals, safety and security, transportation, resort-style amenities, and high-quality care. Everything you need is here. Discover more at brightviewseniorliving.com. Equal housing opportunity. BP added more than $70 billion to the U.S. economy last year by making investments from coast to coast. Investments like acquiring America's largest biogas producer, Arkea Energy, and starting up new infrastructure in the Gulf of Mexico. It's and, not or. See what doing both means for energy nationwide at bp.com slash investing in America. You know you've got a comeback in you. When you take the next step, you're going to make it count for your career, for your family, for your life. You can earn a degree you're proud of with Purdue Global. Purdue Global is backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected and innovative public universities. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. This is your comeback. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. Hi, everyone. It's Amanda Rieger Green. Welcome to Soul Sessions. I have an exciting guest today. It's radio personality, TV host from Austin, Texas, Ann Hudson. Welcome. Hey, I'm so happy to get to like meet you in real life ish, Zoomy. <laughs> Zoomy, for sure. I've connected with a couple of Ann's friends, and I know Ann through other good friends of mine, but this is the first time we're getting to connect personally. And I hear her on the radio all the time in Austin. So I'm used to her voice, but getting to see her face is uh, pretty amazing. And she sparkles. (laughs) You're so sweet. You sparkle too. All right. Well, I'll take it. Like, let's bring on the sparkle today. Yeah. I'm excited to jump in. We're going to do a reading for Anne and we're going to also just do some Q&A and we'll dive into things that I'm sure will relate to everyone out there. And before I even get started, I'll just say that everyone is feeling this immensity and an intensity right now where it feels like the energy is just swinging from high to low really fast and like we can't get our bearings. Do you feel that way? I do. Everyone keeps telling me it's just the eclipse and things that ha- that happened a minute ago. But yeah, it just feels like this uneasiness. It is uneasy. And I, I will say this, you're not alone. I feel it. So many people are reaching out and sharing that, personal friends, clients, But it's an energy that is really shifting us into a a different consciousness, but also a new perspective. And that's really what this year is about for you. And your guides are like, just get rocking and rolling. Just tell her. So I'm going to dive in. The first thing that they're showing me is you are extremely organized. You jump in, you take charge, and you are methodical. You've been methodical since you were young and competitive methodical and competitive with yourself. I know you know that, but they're also saying it's like, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to streamline it. I'm going to knock it out of the park. And then what's the next challenge? Does yes. that make sense? 100%. Like if I, if it's not done immediately, then I forgot about it and you should circle back. <laughs> yes. Well, and it's like for all of us, those procrastinators out there, Anne is not a procrastinator. It's almost like if it's not checked off, if the text message isn't responded to, if the email isn't responded to ASAP, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get everything done and I'm going to feel out of control. And you're a deep feeler for, and you're highly, highly analytical. I mean, you're a calendar maven. That's all there is to it. And I can see you when you were younger, like all your school supplies and anything that created organization for you felt like it was not only beautiful and creative, but it was your sense of I'm accomplishing. You've been an accomplisher and also a very self-motivated individual since you came out of the womb, essentially. I mean, I take my own ass like constantly. I know. And you're your own worst critic. There's no there's no doubt about that. And so when I say you're competitive, 
you're even worse on yourself. And sometimes I'm going to say this because they're making me laugh because you're very funny. And they're saying she sometimes bullies herself. Like she is her own personal bully. Like if she's not getting it done, if it's not being done well, if she didn't win, if she didn't succeed, if you don't do this, then and you are failing. Like, you know, this voice and you know, it's not true. And it's, of course, you've been unlearning this. And one of the things about this year that is so important is for you to play. And I know you went to Madonna last night to the concert. We talked about this. But that is the epitome of this year is if it's not fun, don't do it for you. And it's almost like you are sending your energy out this year and you're saying yes to things, even if it feels a little bit like you're overcommitting and you know how to overcommit. I don't know how you do all the things you do. They just said to me, she gets so much done. People say that to her. Gosh, Anne, how do you do it all how do you get everything accomplished and it's funny does that does that resonate do people say that to you yes okay and here's what's really funny about that it's like you've heard that most of your life gosh and how did you get all that done you run circles around me and and it's like you've taken on that identity and there's a part of you that's changing like I don't want to get everything done I don't want to have so many things on my calendar that I'm running to the next thing and feeling like I'm keeping pace with an identity where I just want to live and be free and feel more free and free in my time and my calendar and to be able to chill out, yet still feel productive. Yes, 100%. Because I am so laser focused on like what needs to get done that sometimes I think I'm closed minded to like meeting new people and doing new things. And and what's available. And this is a year of what is available for me. It's like kind of taking horse blinders off and opening your periphery, noticing things. Like when you're out in the world, when you're running errands, when you are going from point A to point B, it's kind of like stop and smell the roses. But when you're at a traffic light, this may sound super mundane, but they're showing me to tell this to you. When you're at a traffic light, it's like take a minute and look around because you're always thinking, okay, where am I going? What do I need to get done? Okay, wait, I better call this person back. And they're saying, stop calling people in the car. I mean, yes, if you need to make a phone call, if you need to follow up, but if you can just hesitate from picking up the phone and checking something off and they're making me laugh because they're like don't tell on her because she texts and drives like yeah. <laughs> I was, that's what's running through my head I'm like I'm at that stop like checking every I know phone I know and, and they like, just said they were like well don't like don't get her a ticket and I I mean like hello we've all been there and we know it's unsafe but it's like you have this compulsion if I'm not accomplishing and checking the boxes then something might fall apart or it might like I might miss the boat and they're saying you're not going to miss the boat actually just stop and look around stop and exhale a little bit like remember that movie with Whitney Houston waiting to exhale yeah this is a year of waiting to exhale and one of the things that you came into this life to really recognize is healthy relationship and healthy partnership and partnership can certainly be marriage but one-on-one friendship, one-on-one business relationships, one-on-one relationships, because you have tons of friends, tons of acquaintances, tons of people you know, tons of people in your Rolodex, and people think they're closer to you than they are. Most people think they're your close friend and you might be like, yeah, we're friends and it's good to see them, but I don't consider them my close friend. But a lot of people think they're closer to you than they are. Does that resonate? Yeah, I feel like I'm just like an open person and I really genuinely love like people a lot, you know, but I definitely have my small handful of people that are like my like ride or dies, you know? Yes. And they're saying those relationships and you really seeing how you can show up and give to them because they keep talking about being of service and giving. And it's not that you're not of service because you're very service oriented and you're a great connector. They're Mm -hmm. saying you connect, you connect people and you do it joyously and joyfully. And you know who that reminds me of? Amy, Amy Brown, my cousin. I love her, yeah. Amy is a, a fabulous connector and enjoys it. You do as well. And they're saying this year, It's really about recognizing the friendships or the relationships that you have and you know who they are and seeing how you can single them out 
for quality time. So not even big groups of friend, but going and getting a cup of coffee, running a couple of errands together, picking up the phone and saying, I'm just checking on you today because you crossed my mind. So when someone crosses your mind and you really want to touch base, follow that intuition because you're extremely instinctual. And it's funny because this year is a time of following instincts. Yes, intuition, but really you are instinctual. You already communicated that. I want to get things done. I want to check the box. I'll do it now or else I'll forget. You already act on instinct. They're saying, listen to the deeper voice of really when, oh gosh, I'm thinking about them and there's a feeling attached to it. So for you, it's listening to the feeling body and it may be excitement or it may be, ooh, I think something might be wrong. And and trusting that and not worrying if they say, no, nothing's wrong, everything is fine because they may have something that happens in two days and they're like, funny, and you called me and you checked in. I'm so glad we had that conversation because guess what happened today? And so I want you to look at your intuition your connection with people, and then see what happens like a domino effect. I can't believe we had this conversation today because that really helped me through this. And and you're going to see puzzle pieces come together in that sense. They're also talking to me about you have so many opportunities work-wise. I mean, you're busy work-wise. You're engaged. You've got a lot on your plate, but you also know what's expected of you. So there's elements to you, even though you're busy, they keep saying you're kind of bored. And and I'm like, I'm laughing at this because I'm like, how can she be bored? She's so busy, but they're like, there's something about it where you know how to get up, you know how to perform, and, and there's nothing fake about it. That I know that you're no. extremely genuine. Yeah. But there's also a part of you that feels like I'm doing this, but why? Or what is this about? Or what is the next horizon for me? It's like a mirage out in the desert and you see it and there's hope, but you can't put the formulary together and you're very formulaic. I think I hunger for just challenges. The, I thrive on that. And it's kind of like being competitive with myself, going back to what you said in the beginning, where I'm competitive with myself and I want a challenge to like, that kind of fulfills me. So yes. it's just finding that next thing that maybe challenges me. And so I feel like I've successfully in my current career have been able to create avenues to challenge myself. And they're saying that that you want something that's yours, like that is, it's almost like yours, your name, your brand. I mean, they're really talking about your name, your brand, your creation, your platform. You've been affiliated, you have your voice, you have your personality and your talents, but they're saying you're wanting something that's yours. And I will tell you that, as we move into late summer, but really into the fall, there are some opportunities that are coming your way that are going to be like risk and reward opportunities. And like, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Expanding your brand, but also feeling like there's a niche that's carved out that really solidifies your voice. So they're saying, just know that that's evolving. And the path there is not your normal MO of path you would take because you're researcher you're going to put your feelers out you're going to keep your antenna up and they're saying no don't do any of that just go live your life which that's almost like let go and let god kind of energy or let go and enjoy the ride i mean this year is about you enjoying life and every day getting up even when stuff is piled on or things are heavy personally or you're just tired and needing to summon it from somewhere that you don't know where it's going to come from they're saying actually just get up and say today's going to be fun today i'm going to have unexpected opportunities and today i'm going to stop and i'm going to check out the wildflowers i mean hello you and i both know there's tons of wildflowers right now in the greater austin area cuz it is tis the season so to speak but yep. they're saying check them out and they're also saying when you go to trader joe's or the grocery store or whatever buy yourself flowers they want you to yeah. in indulge in things that are beautiful. It's like, oh, those are like, those are gorgeous wildflowers, you know, or they look so just bohemian. They're saying anything that is a little flowery, a little bohemian, bring it into your environment. And even if it's clothes, you might normally, might not normally choose like colors you might not normally wear. Like it's like taste the flavors of the rainbow 
whatever you would normally pick, be like, well, I have so much of that color. Let me pick this color. They're saying sample the flavors, but also bring in beauty anywhere that you can. See, I love flowers, but I never buy them because I'm a Tidewater and I don't want to spend the money. <laughs> I know. There's, I know. I mean, like it's calendar mavens are usually like budget people. <laughs> like anytime they say that, of course, it's like, and they're strict and rigid and they're saying, no, indulge in the flowers. And I mean, hello, I just said Trader Joe's, best place in the world to get flowers. Like get your flowers and, and do it. And once those die, go get some more the next week. Okay. You know, put them next to the kitchen sink or next to your bed or in the bathroom room, whatever it is. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up! And call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. You're a growing business, which means you need every spare hour you can find. That's why the most successful growing businesses are working together in Slack. Slack is where work happens with all your people, data, and information in one AI-powered place. Start a call instantly in huddles and ditch cumbersome calendar invites. Or build an automation with Workflow Builder to take routine tasks off your plate. No coding required. Grow your business in Slack. Visit slack.com to get started. Waiting on a tax return? Hopefully it ends up in your hands. Fraudulent tax returns due to identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. LifeLock monitors and alerts you to identity threats you may miss on your own, even if you're careful with your personal information. And if you do become the victim of tax-related identity fraud, LifeLock has U.S.-based restoration specialists ready to help solve identity theft issues on your behalf. Plus, all LifeLock plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, meaning LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan if you lose money due to identity theft. Why wait for your tax refund in vain? Help protect your information immediately with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com iHeart and save up to 25% your first year. That's 25% off at LifeLock.com iHeart. Identity theft protection starts here. So they're saying bring in beauty because you're very creative. And they're saying your imagination is your next frontier. And you're imaginative. You actually, you can envision things. Your clairvoyance is very high. When it comes to your intuition, your most heightened gift is clairvoyance. Being able to see something like in your, in your mind's eye and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to achieve that. Like usually if you can visualize it, you can achieve it. And they're saying that like you were like this in junior high, high school with yes. sports. It's like you would just envision winning, envision like yes. being the, like, does that I'm make sense? I'm a big believer in manifestation because I feel like everything that I've like really, you know, it, it works out somehow. I, I get there somehow. Yeah. And they're saying you use your clairvoyance, which means that screen in your mind and start. It's kind of like make a Pinterest board. I say this to people sometimes like, yes, a vision board, but go on to Pinterest and look at things at that just you're like, gosh, that's stunning. Or even and I'm about to be super superficial right now because they keep giving me a lot of superficial things. And they're saying th there's actually gold and value in you just seeing beautiful things and being like, wow, that's a gorgeous belt. Or, oh my goodness, that is a stunning watch. Or those sunglasses are fabulous. <laughs> like, so they're saying, give yourself permission to daydream in beauty and aesthetic because something about that leads to you opening yourself up to people you haven't met yet or people you haven't engaged with. So there, it's it doesn't sound like it's a straight path, but they're saying the more creative, the more imaginative, the more dreamy you get, and it's like just for fun because you're not attached to it. You're not like, I have to have that pair of sunglasses, but right. those are phenomenal. And you will be surprised 
that somebody says, oh, hey, would you want to do a brand partnership with, and you're like, are you kidding me? And this pair of sun, like, this is a big manifesting year for you. I love this soul session right now. They're telling me to tell you to manifest through this lighthearted superficiality, stuff that you're absolutely not attached to because you're so goal oriented right. that you succeed. And it's like, well, this is what I want to do next. Okay, this is where what I'm going after. And you charge forward. They're saying, let go of that and get more into a dreamscape because it's going to start reformulating some people and some experiences. And they're talking to me about well, I think you have a grandmother coming through. Hold on. I was like, they're talking to me about one thing and then they like sidetracked me over here and there's a um, there's a woman coming through. I can see her cheeks and her eyes and I think you have her eyes. Ah, um, you, oh my gosh. I'm like, cause it's like, oh my gosh. And this is like you, like right here. I'm like my cheekbones and my eyes. I'm like, <gasps> like, what is her name? Which grandmother is this? Bernadine. <sighs> Of course, her name is Bernadine. I love her name. Uh, I know. Yeah. And she's smiling and there is this sweetness to her. And she's showing me like, I don't know, like apples, pears, trees, like backyard, things like that. So I'm seeing like the outdoors and I'm seeing just outdoor scenery and her backyard in particular. Do, where where did she live? In Kentucky. Okay. Did, were there apple trees? I don't think apple trees, but beautiful trees. Like beautiful they trees. Are, it's a moment. <laughs> okay. Well, like, because she's just showing me trees and like, I can see the green and she's showing me you when you were younger and like barefoot, of course, but playing and also just being like a total wild child. And you were a responsible little girl. Like you yes. showed up, you did well in school, you would raise your hand in class, you would volunteer, you would, you know, you always were in charge and buttoned up and responsible in school but they're showing me you playing on the, her property and you being this like total wild child like just playing and being fun and silly and not being buttoned up my cousin's in my house right now i think she's filling my cousin here yes, yes. did y'all were y'all together were y'all like to like when you were little you have those memories yes yeah. oh we are so tight all of us are we're so tight yeah, she's there and she's saying, she says, those are some of the sweetest memories. And she says, Anne was so bossy. Like, <laughs> she said, she said, Anne was bossy. Do you remember like when y'all would play games? Would you be like the mother or the grand? Do you remember the role you would take? They're talking about, you know, when you would play house or whatever. I'm like the middle kid people pleaser one, you know? So I just looked after my sister a bunch and I might have tried to be assertive and bossy. Ask your cousins. And like, and they're not saying abrasive, but like you would say, let's go do this. Like, we're going to do this. Like you, you kind of led everybody towards fun. And so even though you're a middle child, like nothing about you says that. And I get the people pleasing and, and all of those aspects, but she's showing me also her dishes. I have them. That's what she just, she said, tell her about the dishes. And I'm like, okay, what do they have flowers on them? It's China, but I didn't get anything for my wedding China wise because she was like, I'm going to give you my China when I go, you know, so. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you use them? Yes, but it's just like once a year and I always want to have China dinners with my friends. I'm like, let's normalize China dinners. You remember how I was like, stop and check out the wildflowers, buy yourself flowers. She's like, use it every day, celebrate every day. And also that element of having your friends over and entertaining and did they have horses? They did with my mom and my mom's sister. They had horses with her. Do you know how to ride? I've ridden, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I wouldn't say I'm like, you know how to ride. I've gotten thrown off one big time. Okay. And Do you remember how I said this year is about playing and having fun? It's like taking up a hobby or something. And I know how busy you are. So it's like, okay, Amanda, how do I add this into my schedule? But they're saying, no, it's like, say, I like, I just want to go out to a barn. And even if it's you out at a barn working with rescue horses and grooming them, anything that gets you around like horse medicine, because it's such a freeing energy, which yes. is also very disciplined and grounded. Think about a horse. They like a job. They like discipline, but they also love freedom. Your grandmother is saying, 
you need to ride and you don't need to be, you know, doing dressage or some, you know, <laughs> rodeo. We don't need you doing that, but we need you around horses. And she's saying, go get outdoors. And and I know it's about to get really hot here. So it's, you know, a challenge. It's I'm like, I'm hoping this summer isn't as hot as the last was. Who knows? But she's saying, get outside, get around horses. And she also wants you to know, she says, you are not alone. She says, she knows how independent you are. And even though you have people around you all the time, there's this element of feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm by myself. Like nobody's really going to get me, even though people get you and you're, again, you're like an open book and I'm intimate and close like that too. There's this part of you that feels like, oh my gosh, am I ever just going to be really relaxed and comfortable? Have I? Am I ever going to have just arrived? And she's yes. like, this is wow. your year to really <laughs> say, oh, today I've arrived. Remember how I was saying, get up and say, today I'm just going to live. It's today I've arrived. And that's what your grandmother is saying. And she's very strong, your grandmother, like very much a like strong and wise and, and protective. And she says, you need to know that you're supported. She says, but talk to me. Like when you see those dishes, be like, oh, there you are. I'm using the dishes and it's Tuesday night. You yes. <laughs> like that's what she's yeah, saying. I will. I love yeah. her. Yeah. All right. Well, she just wants you to know that she's with you and that she loves and adores you and she loves your children. How many children do you have? You're a growing business, which means you need every spare hour you can find. That's why the most successful growing businesses are working together in Slack. Slack is where work happens with all your people, data, and information in one AI-powered place. Start a call instantly in huddles and ditch cumbersome calendar invites. Or build an automation with Workflow Builder to take routine tasks off your plate. No coding required. Grow your business in Slack. Visit slack.com to get started. Let's hit it. Give me a vacation. Vacation. Give me a wave. Surfing. Give me a city tour. The trolley. Give me animals. The zoo. Give me some sea life. <laughs> Give me museums. Park. Give me a woo. Roller coaster. What's that spell? San Diego. If you're happy and you know it, San Diego is the place to show it. Book your family vacation at san diego.org. Funded in part with the City of San Diego Tourism Marketing District Assessment Funds. Through conversations with investors and entrepreneurs, Unseen Upside by Cambridge Associates explores the human impact of investing. Season four focuses on exciting healthcare advancements, promising to improve outcomes and create resilient, patient-centric systems, blending technology and compassion. Meet the minds behind innovation shaping the future of medicine, from drug discovery to the role of AI. Uncover the Unseen Upside, available now. How many children do you have? Three boys. <laughs> of course you have three boys. Yes, you're a boy mom. And that makes sense. And like, I'm like, girl, yes, you're a boy girl mom. Of all girls. I know. Yes, and like, boys. but you get to be the like the queen of the house. So that's all there is to it, you know, and and you're in charge, even though you're like, I'm not bossy, but I'm like, but you're totally in charge of that household. Like we know who rules the house. Yeah. Okay. What they're talking to me about your children right now and just home and family and it being one of those stages where it's like are we all in the right place you know is this where we want to be or are we looking for a change of scenery and it's not like y'all are just moving and you're leaving careers but there's some internal discussion I don't know if it's between you and your husband but like where do we want to be in the next few years is this where we want to stay is this does that make sense they're telling me that like Y'all been having a lot of internal dialogue. Yo, yeah. All of our kids and us were like, we want some land. And that's why you throwing in the horses. Like I've had dreams. I'm like, like Christmas just came and went. And I had, yeah. ne- I just was like, what can we get that's like special? And I was like, wouldn't it be cool if we lived in a land and I could give like the family horse. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting you're saying all that. That's why your grandmother is coming through then. That makes sense because she's saying like this this summer when y'all go on some trips plan your trips like well if we were to buy a piece of property you know and we want to look in Kentucky we want to look in Arkansas we want to like just plan a few summer vacations one or two whatever it is where y'all are exploring places where you could see yourself investing in property because i have to tell you something funny <laughs> 
<laughs> they keep talking to me about you homesteading. I mean, I don't mean that you're just at home, you know, like I know with, you your bee, with your beehives and all the things. And and it's so funny because me, Amanda, I'm like, no, Anne has this amazing career. She's rocking it no, out. This is my She's husband doing- that wants to do this. <laughs> I'm not well, kidding. Okay, but they're saying, and they're saying you would enjoy the heck out of it, and then you would be afraid you were like missing your I have arrived moment. And that's why they're saying this is a year to imagine and create. And that's why your grandmother is showing you the rolling grass, the trees, the horses, a barn. But also, I mean, they're saying like beehives and a chicken coop and and no wonder the flowers. And like, because they're saying, and listen, I am not a gardener. I do not have a green thumb, but I would love to have things growing in my yard. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, totally. I kill chia pets, so I understand. Yeah, I, I kill cactus, so I get it. Like, <laughs> it's, you know, it's a thing. I'm better at it than I ever was. But they're saying, like, explore that with, what's your husband's name? Fred, like Flintstone. <laughs> Fred Flintstone. What's his birthday? Just um, the month of November 23rd. Oh, he's so smart. Like, he's a deep thinker. And man, he grounds you. Like, even though you're the methodical one and you're like here and there. And I mean, you, there's a, you know, a method to your madness, let's call yes. it. You sometimes have to pull stuff out of him because he'll be in contemplation. And he shares. And that's, remember when I was talking about you and intimate relationships and also how can I be of service to the people who are my close people, like your cousin that's there right now. Like, you're getting to spend one-on-one time and this is like so joyful for you that is the like the sauce of life and with your husband the two of you get each other I mean yeah you got your ups and downs and all the things in between but they're saying explore his ideas because there's something to it and there's something to your your boys and their well-being and your family and they're saying it's actually going to create more opportunity more success new doors that open because your horizons are expanding and i will tell you i feel like you all buy or purchase a piece of property next year and you pretty much know where the place is sometime in the fall of this year y'all go somewhere and you're like this is it oh my gosh like the price is right around here we could buy this many acres and we could redo this house and we could work on it remotely and then we could we could get here this amount of times in a year and the next thing you know in two or three years down the road, you're like, no, we want to be here permanently. Yeah. Those things are happening and the vision he has, you're entertaining it, but you're like, I don't know how all that would come together. Like I could see it. And and it's not that you wouldn't embrace it. You're just, you're so logical and practical and you're practical with the money. We know that. You're like, okay, here's yeah. the budget. Here's the money. Yeah. But they're saying, get into the imagination of it. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the practicality. Worry about your senses. Just like me telling you to buy flowers the, and focus on beauty. The reason for that is you recognizing, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful today. Or man, these flowers are stunning. Oh, I love these dishes from my grandmother because they're nostalgic and true and real. And it's going to open up some things in your heart that are there that are just this pathway forward. What does your husband do work-wise? He's a singer, musician, and Honey Brown in a band that was real successful Uh like 10, 15 years ago. So he still does that for like his hobby and for fun. And he's really loving singing and songwriting again as of late. But he also does medical device like he sells medical device equipment oh my gosh it's so funny because (laughs) they're saying he does that he's really good at it but at at his heart he's just totally an artist and that's why like having a piece of property and land where i mean he really would live off the land (laughs) if y'all could like if y'all could go in in six months and be there and be like hasta la vista away from the austin traffic he'd say sign me up i'm done i don't want the rat race anymore and even though he does well at medical device sales he doesn't love it no and you appreciate him because he's gonna support and take charge and we got to do what we got to do but it's like he's really outgrowing it in his soul and he is masterminding right now he is so in his head these days about how can I figure this out? How can we figure out money? How can we become more lucrative and abundant and live off of less and it feels so abundant? So that is coming. And just when y'all go to dinner together or you're sitting around with the boys at dinner, 
like, okay, if we were to have a piece of property, like, what are our non-negotiables? What do we all want? What's, you know, and ask each of the boys, okay, what's your dream? What's your dream? Just talk about dreams. And your boys are all so, <laughs> they keep, they keep showing me, do y'all do dinner together consistently? When we can. I mean, they're three boys and they all play different sports. So we're a lot of times running in different directions. But when we do sit down, it's awesome. Like it's the greatest thing ever. I wish we prioritize that more. Okay. Prioritize it as I mean, I know y'all are running different directions and summer will be a little bit different, but it's like, it's not about the food. It's really just about you all sitting down together because y'all are sweet. You have a sweet family and like their show. I'm like, I want to come have dinner with y'all or at least be a fly on the wall because there's never a dull moment, but everybody is pretty darn open and communicative. Like you have a very intimately communicative family and that is not the norm. Is it not? I, we do have that. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you're really blessed in that. And you are a lot of the glue that holds that together. And they're saying, give yourself credit where credit is due. I know you're a wonderful mom. You just elicit everyone's attention on each other. And to have three boys and them going in different directions and you and your husband, I mean, life is busy. I get that. But you do a really good job. Like when y'all are all in the car together and going somewhere or when y'all go on a vacation or do something, it's like, oh my gosh, we have fun with each other. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I yeah. mean, I'm sure there's, you know, arguments and all the things, but y'all enjoy each other. I mean, seriously, I bug them. They do not like me because I like to hug them so much. And yeah. I'm serious. They think I'm the worst mom because of this. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But they, they love it though. Like they really do deep down and they're boys, you know, it's like, and guess yeah. what? You're the only gal in the house. So you, you just do whatever the heck yeah. you want to do. Like bring it in heart to and heart. Perfect. Exactly. And, but they, they are very communicative. Is there anything that you want to know about any of the boys how old are they 16 14 and 9 no wonder they're all over the place like you're is the 16 year old driving yet yeah he just makes me nervous because he's got this girlfriend right now uh, <laughs> gotcha all of the things and they're saying you know what and i have a they just showed me a picture of a friend of mine and she i hope has i'm a, not gonna be grandma Please no no mom. okay that's it well, okay that's what i'm about to say i was like okay let me see if i can like frame this so it's appropriate but she said to me and she has a 17 year old daughter yeah. and she goes amanda they're gonna do what they are gonna do so i just need to make sure they're educated and it's just it's all out on the table i mean they're gonna do it so i may as well not deny it so they just said like just have conversations and you know give advice where you can and then also just let it go and they're saying you're the mom you're the parent be open and communicative and then let it go everything's gonna be fine you're not gonna be a grandmother yet so don't worry about that they Woo! just said don't worry about <laughs> it but also the fact that he is driving now and there's a little bit of well you know more independence and autonomy and it helps a little bit with the other the other two you yes, know and, and what's his name what's the old what's the 16 year old's name Hudson okay what's his birthday just the month and the day his birthday is July 16th oh gosh yeah he's like <laughs> He is his own person. Like, he is really his own person. He was born just like, I'm going to be who I am. Yep. And you can't control me. And he is sensitive, even though he's a pretty bold guy. Like, he's yes. sensitive. He takes things personally. There's an air to him that's just mature. And they're yes. saying he's okay. And he he is good with his brothers and having that responsibility. Yes, I know you get your nerves and you're like, okay, guys, be careful, buckle up, check in, you know, all the things that you do. But they're also saying it's giving you a little bit more time and flexibility. Because yeah. you're the one that, I mean, y'all run kids around and you're busy and doing stuff. They're saying take that moment to be able to say, oh my gosh, I don't have to be anywhere in the next hour to pick someone up. What do I want to do? Right. And maybe you just want to watch some Netflix. They're saying this is the kind of year where they want you to choose to do things that you want to do. Done. Massages today. Yes, exactly. Like whatever. <laughs> Facials, massages, buy yourself yeah. flowers. Those things are really important. And your nine-year-old, what's his name? Walsh. What's his birthday? His birthday is December 2nd. <laughs> He's like a whole other personality. 
he's an explorer of life. Like they just keep talking to me about like the archetype they give me for him is he's an adventurer. He's an explorer. He is always going to be seeking and learning. He's, he's a life learner, like a student of life in many ways. Yeah. And he likes to have his time and his space. Like he kind of wants to go dance to the beat of his own drum. So he will be your more avant-garde child. And actually like, you know, in connecting with your husband's energy, he's got a lot of artistic talent. He's just the most social person I've ever met. Like he's the one who has the whole neighborhood gatherings. Like everyone's in our house with him all the time. And it's so funny. You have a social energy about you. So I'm like, for you to say that, he must really be a social oh, butter. All day, every day. He wakes up at 6.30, 7 in the morning. He's out the door with a whole herd of kids all day until his head hits the pillow at 8.30. He's full of life. And he will be your kid who wants to travel, who wants to take a year to do this. And he's always going to be, just so you know, I know he's nine. So this is like kind of jumping ahead. But he's going to be the kid that changes jobs like 10 times. And he oh, also, great. he excels at things very rapidly. When he learns something, he learns it very fast. And once he's bored with it or bored with something, he's like, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. And yeah. you can be like, wow, you're so good at that. Are you sure? And yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. You know, I mean, like he's a quick learner, but then when he gets bored, he's like, I'm done. I'm over it. I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. As long as you think you'll be okay, because they, everyone tells me I baby him too much. He will be, but it's like he's going to have to taste life. Like he wants to taste, touch, smell, feel. He's a very experiential, visceral learner. So he's going to be your kid that moves off. You're, you know, and of course he's the youngest and you're like, wait a minute, you know, stay. And he's going to be wanting to go places and go explore and go to Europe and go travel. And I mean, he's your explorer. So, you know, you, you, he will come back home and he has that strong family unit, but he will be the one that comes back with tales and adventures and just know that about him. He's not the kid that can have a leash. You know, I don't know that yeah. any child, I don't know that any child needs a leash, but, but, but no, still believe, like, yeah. you know what I mean? The proverbial, yeah. like he's not going to stay close to home, but he's going to always come home because yeah. there is that sense of security and stability. Okay. What's your middle child's name? If we're going to talk about him all, we he's make. Freddie. Freddie. And what's his birthday? January 29th, 2010. Oh my goodness. He's really smart. Yeah. I mean, all your children are smart and intelligent and capable. No, and but, things, he but he is the straight is, one. He is, Funny, yeah. And know. I mean, Walsh is like, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do that. And he's smart. And he's he's more like street smart. Yeah. Whereas Freddie is, no, I want to figure this out. And he's good with technology. He can figure things out without... It, just stuff that you and I couldn't figure out technology wise. Yeah. I mean, of course they're born into that, but he really is accelerated. You're spot on. And is going to be so creative though, like with his intelligence, like he's, he's going to end up innovating and creating things like whether they're, and I keep seeing like artificial intelligence and computer programming. And I mean, like he's just very proficient that way. And also like kind of ahead of his time. All of this sounds exactly like who he is. Yeah. And so, and I mean, already doing engineering and building like yes. metal, like, yes, you're on with him. He's always going to be really, yes, that mechanical, but that instrumental mind that is wanting to functionally build things. And they're showing me too with him is if he can't figure it out, just like you, he can be like the bully in the head, the self-critic. And he usually will keep it in and he won't say anything about it. And you can see his mood swings all over his body. He's, he may not say anything, but his body language is his tell. And for as smart as he is, and I always, when they show me that, this is the analogy they always give me is for as smart as he is, he's not going to play in the world poker tournament because he'll have too many tells. Like yeah. you can see it. Yes. You are so spot on. So anyway, they just said with him more than the other two, other two boys, the big thing is like feelings and being able to say, you know, how did that make you feel? But also, well, oh gosh, how did that feel? You know, so if it's a positive thing, get him to communicate his emotions. Is because, that Freddie? Yes, Freddie. Wow. Really pulling his emotions out because again, you can see it in his body language and you can intuit it because you're his mother. 
but he won't always communicate what he's feeling. He'll go into his analysis and let me build it. Let me organize it. Let me fix it in my mind in, or let me put my hands on something and fix it. And, and it's like, that's how he works out his anxiety versus saying, I mean, I, I don't understand this today or somebody in class was ugly to me. Like he, he holds stuff like that in. We cannot crack him. We'll know something is major going on and we have tried everything and he's just like, I need my space. I don't know how to deal with that because I am an open book. <laughs> yeah, and a communicator. I can't understand how people keep stuff in because it- He is, does. Yeah. yeah, he does. And Literally. you know what? Yeah, we were talking about property and horses. Horses would be great for him. Animals are good he for him. He rode horses. I signed him up to ride horses. Like, I'm not kidding. He did that for like a year. Okay, well, just him being around animals and like horses- pets like pets like it just it gives him kind of that safe space and vulnerability so like let's say you are like okay i'm thinking about taking riding lessons or i want to go out to this barn that's when you get him in the car with you by himself and you getting the boys by themselves is like your gold because they all want your attention and it, you do a great job but it's like they want to be with you more than they express. So just know that. Okay, that's but good with enough. him, yeah. be like, I was thinking about doing this. Do you want to come out with me? You know more about it than me. Maybe you can give me some tips. I mean, you know how to like finagle that. Yeah. But that time with him will help him just start to kind of find that space where you can crack his code because it'll oh, okay. take away some of the pretenses of mechanical things or his schoolwork and, and all of that yeah. stuff. Is there anything that you want to know about that we haven't talked about? You're a growing business, which means you need every spare hour you can find. That's why the most successful growing businesses are working together in Slack. Slack is where work happens with all your people, data, and information in one AI-powered place. Start a call instantly in huddles and ditch cumbersome calendar invites. Or build an automation with Workflow Builder to take routine tasks off your plate. No coding required. Grow your business in Slack. Visit slack.com to get started. Through conversations with investors and entrepreneurs, Unseen Upside by Cambridge Associates explores the human impact of investing. Season four focuses on exciting healthcare advancements, promising to improve outcomes and create resilient, patient-centric systems, blending technology and compassion. Meet the minds behind innovation shaping the future of medicine, from drug discovery to the role of AI. Uncover the Unseen Upside, available now. This is it, your moment. This is your time to make your comeback with Purdue Global. When you come back with a Purdue Global degree, you create opportunity for yourself, your family, and your future. It's a degree you can be proud of, a degree that employers will trust and respect. Purdue Global offers working adults like you over 175 flexible degree programs to meet your specific career goals. These include associate, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees and certificates. Purdue Global degree programs range from nursing to business to communication and more. Whatever your interest, we have the degree that will move you forward. You have the knowledge. You have the experience. Now it's time to get credit for the work you've done and earn the recognition you deserve with Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. You know you're worth it. We do too. So don't wait another second to get the degree that will take your career to the next level. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. Is there anything that you want to know about that we haven't talked about? Yeah, the spirit's telling you anything about when I'm going to get through this menopause or what's happening because... Oh, gosh. <laughs> gosh, Lord, help us all, right? <laughs> I'm like, I, I understand. I feel your That's pain. That's my craziness right now. I know, and I And I'm literally it. like... Every doctor, every DNA does, every what's happening. <laughs> okay, I will tell you this, and this is kind of amazing because like at the event, I, and I have found a lot of health, healing, and wellness through just hormonal imbalances in all sorts of herbal remedies and plants versus, I mean, 
just the regular Western medicine clinical stuff. And do you, have you ever been to the herb bar in Austin? No. You need to go there. It's it's like a little hobbit house and it's amazing. It's been there. It's the oldest apothecary in Austin, but they're coming to my event in May. And the gal who owns it, she's really an incredible herbalist and a great teacher, but she's bringing all sorts of tinctures and plant medicine and teas and things. And Anne, they freaking work. Like there's different little tinctures and it's going to be a little tincture and it'll say, okay, this is for hormones. This is for hot flashes. This is for mood stability, irritability, you know, where you're like suicidal and homicidal all in like 30 minutes. And I tell you what, you'll take a few droppers a few times a day and be like, this is a total BS. And then three days later, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of in a good mood today. Or yeah. I don't feel so out of my mind. Yeah. So Anyway, you need to meet her first and foremost. She will be at the event, but you've just got to go get over to the herb bar because it's a fun experience anyway, but that stuff works. And that has been really helpful. But also, I will tell you this, as far as your hormones, they're talking to me about your thyroid. Have you had your thyroid checked? Yes, I have. I just like had it. It's It was a little off, but not often that they felt like I needed to do anything. Okay. Not saying that anything is wrong, but, but whenever, like usually when they show me stuff, so they're talking about your throat chakra and we obviously know you knew how, know how to use your voice and that's what you do professionally and you do it well. But when there's stuff that falls in the category of the throat chakra, there's always shifts in the way you talk to yourself, the way you listen and hear yourself and really listening to the words that you say. So also listening to that inner critic because okay. like, let's say, you know, how gratitude lists are, it's like, okay, get into gratitude. You know, everything is not falling apart right now. Look at what you have. Okay. That's just fine and good, but they're saying, no, go deeper to that. When you start saying, and you're not doing enough and you're running out of time and you've got to get these five things done and listen to that. And that's when I'm like, put the phone down in the car, yes. check out the scenery. And also I want you to be spontaneous in your day. Meaning let's say, okay, I have to get here. I have to get to this appointment by this time. If you find yourself with 20 extra minutes, go somewhere you haven't gone before. Like, I'm just going to pop in this boutique. This new boutique is open. Not because you need anything. Right. Because why not? And I'm not going to, it's not going to waste time. It's going to actually increase it. And they're talking to me about that thyroid regulation. That regulation is really this internal voice. And your hormones as a result are going to regulate like in the next six, eight months. Like you're going to feel a lot better. And I mean, you'll have your ups and downs, but check out these like herbal remedies. I will. He kind of like blew off my thyroid irregular. Like it was a yeah. little irregular and he kind of was like, yeah, but it concerned me. So I think it's interesting. Yes. To well, and also if you go to the herb bar, be like, okay, what's a good thyroid, you know, or good throat chakra, even throat chakra crystals, you know, I'm big into crystals. So yeah. to me, those are things like lapis, sodalite, those are blue stones. I love for hormonal regulation and the throat chakra, a stone called apatite. Okay. I want you to take a field trip to Crystal Works. It's at Lamar and like 12th, like it's North okay. Mark 12th, like right up in there. And it's a small crystal shop that's packed with stuff. But I want you to get some lapis and some appetite. And appetite spelled just like food, appetite. Both of those stones are really good hormonal, cellular rejuvenation, throat chakra stones. And they're also you do with beautiful. Them? I mean, I would love for you to get some bracelets. So I'll send you some links for some bracelets to have. But you can just get a couple of stones, put them under your pillow, put them in your bra. Like, like, I mean, I will put them in my bra. I'll put them under my pillow at night or I'll put them on my throat and just lie down for a few minutes or hold them in my hands, leave them in the car, put them in the bathtub, put them in the bathtub. Like, I'm not joking. Like, put them in the bathtub. Okay. Don't be stressed about your thyroid but they're saying it's a it's literally like the thyroid is a temperature regulator and you are like regulating your temperature and it's like taking your temperature on life do i love this am i enjoying it am i really engaged or am i just doing it because i know how to do it i mean that's your big question for the remainder of this year am i doing this because i just know how to do it or am i really enjoying myself and it's not about 
not going to work and not doing well, but really looking at when you're doing something and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm loving this right now. This is so much fun. Or man, I've done this for a long time and I don't want to do it anymore. Okay. So just think about that. This year and next year, there are professional opportunities opening up. And I think some things are going to reformulate in your plan forward and your schedule as a result. And I also think that even within iHeartMedia, I think there will be a role that opens up that is very interesting to you and your voice is needed. That's awesome. Not yet, but there there are a couple of opportunities coming. One feels like television and one feels like radio. So it's you may be able to do both or you may get to choose, but they're saying you don't have to curate those things. You go live. You go enjoy yourself. Okay. And just this is a year to play versus plan. Even though I know we were talking about you and your husband and dream, dream, like instead of planning, be like, today I'm dreaming. Today I'm playing. Replace everything with a lighthearted word because that's what's regulating in your temperature. I want to just be light. I just want to be fun. I just want to enjoy myself. I I want to enjoy my boys' games and their stuff at school and be involved. And then I also, I want to go to Trader Joe's and get flowers and not freak out that there's, this one's $7.99. And listen, I can see you at Trader Joe's and you'll see the ones that are $3.99 and $7.99 and you love the $7.99 ones, but the $3.99 ones are a deal by the $7.99 ones today. Okay. Okay? Because guess who else will do that? Me. Um, Like, I know exactly that whole, I'm like, oh, no, that's the voice I have. And it's like, no, indulge in those flowers because it's about creating this beauty around you and to really enhance your imagination. I love it. I love all this. Like, it's all spot on. I cannot, my husband just walked in. I can't wait to tell him, like, all the things you said because he's going to be like, "Ah." well, especially about the land. And I can completely see y'all doing that. And you know, want to know what's funny about that? career-wise for you and how innovative you are, I could see y'all buying a piece of property. Like, this is so funny and clear, and your husband would love it. But, like, I could see y'all having a piece of property, starting to quote-unquote homestead, and then you creating a whole, like, TV show or lifestyle brand or podcast around it. And, like, being supported in the media contacts you have and the reputation and the headway that you've made – you could pitch something in building this new life, dream about it right now. Like, wow, if I could just go be who I am and get paid for it and be following the dreams my husband has with my boys and love in life, okay, why not? So don't plan for it. Just dream for it. Don't plan dream because we, you know how to plan. We know that about you. It's hardwired. So the things that are hardwired, they're not going to go anywhere. See if you can... Again, regulate that temperature control and think more play, more fun, more ease, more joy. And then also your sauce this year is one-on-one relationships. How am I being of service? And not because you have to. It's because, oh my gosh, this happened to them this week. Let me fix something for them and bring it over. Or let me just come over and sit with them and just relax and be there. It's like your presence this year intimately with your friendships and your like your cousin, people that you love, that's going to be like the elixir of life. And that's where you're going to feel more seen than anywhere else. And you're a public figure, but where you're feeling more seen right now is all of your one-on-one intimate connections. Yeah. Harness that. Yes. Oh, I love it. That's so good. Yeah. You're so sweet. I love all of this. It was awesome. I am happy to have connected with Anne today. She is sparkly and fun. She brings a dynamic energy. And I hope you resonated with that because it really, really taps into the numerology for this month, which is the energy of the three which ask us to be more playful, joyful, and lighthearted. And that's a big storyline for her this year. So I hope it resonates, especially with the heavy transformative energy we are all walking through in whatever way you are experiencing that. If you do live in Austin, check her out on Case 100.7. She's so much fun and so light. And if you're into country music, then there you go. There she is. I hope you can also take away some experiences 
and new tools and practices, like being able to look for the beauty in things. Buy yourself flowers. Stop and smell the proverbial roses. See where you can not distract and pick up the phone or need to be scheduling and organizing. Know that that stuff will come. With this Mercury retrograde energy, it's not a time of new action and charging forward with this urgency that that feels false or feels uneasy or even reactive. So see where you can just be and be in your day, even amidst the things that you have on your plate. And one of the messages that came through for Anne that I loved for all of us is, Anne is a planner. She's very methodical and she does an exceptional job and has in her life of manifesting what she wants to achieve and her success. But her definition of success is evolving and changing. And when the game changes, when we evolve, the way we used to play it is not applicable anymore. So her antidote, and I think this is an antidote for so many of us right now, including myself, is to daydream to imagine, to use our creative envisioning process, which means look for beauty, utilize your clairvoyance, see things come to life. And like the Pinterest board, put things on a Pinterest board that look beautiful to you for the sake of beauty, not because you need them or have to have them like we talked about with the sunglasses. Use something that feels maybe superficial or purely aesthetic that you see as beautiful as something that can actually ignite beauty in your spirit and a little bit of a giggle or a smile like, oh yeah, I got to have those sunglasses. Those are amazing. And then smile, make that wish, send that intention out, harness that energy in your feeling body and go about what you're doing and see where you can ignite your sensory perceptions with playfulness and ease. Also, I loved talking about your dreams. Talk about your dreams within intimate relationships where you feel safe. I think it is always important when we have dreams that are starting to permeate within us to get very clear around those dreams and what excites us rather than, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this or the self-doubt that comes in. But talk about some dreams and excitement with people who really can hold the space for you to do that, whether that's a best friend, a sibling, your spouse, a partner. You don't need 10 people to talk about this with. Talk about it with one person and just say, ah, what do you wish could happen in the next few months? What's your non-negotiable? What are you excited about today? Just questions like that. So it sparks imagination, creativity, and dreaming big energy. We all need a little of that right now. So I hope you can find some good takeaways. Last but not least, Anne will be at my event on May 7th in Austin, Texas at VUCA. And you can find out about that on the website, soulpathology.com. It's right on the website, but we're also going to run a special promo. So if you've been thinking about coming and haven't quite pulled the trigger, well, we're going to do a buy one, get one free. And you can use the code AN, A-N-N-E, when you're purchasing tickets. So when you purchase one, you get two. So definitely take advantage of that. We're going to run that for the next week. The details are in the show notes, the podcast show notes, but go to the website, soulpathology.com. And you can use that promo code if you, you know, have been on the fence about coming. I'd love for you to join us. It's going to be a great crew. And I am really excited about what is manifesting. Next week, I've got Megan coming on from the Herb Bar. And the Herb Bar will be at the event. And they're bringing all sorts of plant-based medicinals to help support this transformation physically in our body with our emotional, mental and energetic or spiritual body. And she is an expert in this. So she's going to give us some insights, some 101 and wisdom around how plant medicine can help us as we begin to ascend into a five-dimensional frequency or consciousness. And we're in it right now. We're in the heaviness. So I will take whatever tools I can use and utilize them intentionally and functionally and practically. And she will bring a lot of 
insight and information and clarity to that. And if you're not familiar with tinctures and flower essences and teas and you're new to that, I think you're going to love this episode. So even if you can't be at the event, no worries there. This is going to be a helpful episode and you will be able to start thinking about new resources that can be very helpful in the next few years from a healing and a growth and an expansion perspective. Everybody take care and remember, love is all right now. Anywhere the fear is coming up, replace it with love is all. Be well. Diamonds Direct Spring Sale starts this weekend. Get 20% off rings, earrings, pendants, bracelets, and more. It's the best store-wide sale of the season. Plus, book an appointment and get an additional $100 off. That's 20% off plus $100 off store-wide. And enjoy an expanded selection of the latest styles with designer appearances each weekend. Tons of engagement rings on sale, too. 20% off starts Friday and open Sundays. Details at DiamondsDirect.com. Residents at Brightview Senior Living Communities enjoy enhanced possibilities, independence, and choice. Brightview Dulles Corner in Herndon and Brightview Great Falls offer vibrant senior independent living, assisted living, and memory care services through various daily programs and cultural events. Chef-prepared meals, safety and security, transportation, resort-style amenities, and high-quality care. Everything you need is here. Discover more at brightviewseniorliving.com. Equal housing opportunity. Does money stress you out? Let Facet flip your financial chaos into clarity. We feel way more confident and secure in our finances. And with that comes a sense of freedom. Financial planning from Facet is here to help you improve your life today, tomorrow, and every day after that. Facet was really the place where we saw all of the tools and the people coming together. Visit Facet.com, F-A-C-E-T.com to learn more. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment legal or tax advice. These testimonials are from current Facet members who are not compensated. All opinions are their own and not a guarantee of a similar outcome.